Nicolas Cage invades people's dreams in the clever comedy dream scenario. Have you ever dreamed about Nicolas Cage? Given how many oddball and outrageous roles the actor has played over the course of his 41-year career, in good and bad movies alike, his infiltration of your unconscious mind might be no surprise. Just in the past couple of years, Cage has played a high-end chef turned reclusive truffle hunter, Pig, a movie star based on himself, the unbearable weight of massive talent, and Count Dracula, Renfield. Now he stars in Norwegian writer-director Christopher Borgley's dream scenario, in which his role hinges, ironically, on his not standing out from the crowd. The film is currently playing at the Savoy Theater, Essex Cinemas, and Merrill's Roxy Cinemas. The Deal Paul Matthews, Cage, is a schlubby middle-aged professor of evolutionary biology. He's an underachiever in his field and ignored by his students, though he does have a comfortable home, a loving wife, Julianne Nicholson, and two daughters. When his youngest reports seeing her dad in a dream, Paul doesn't think much of it. Then Paul's ex, Marnie McPhail, reconnects to announce that he keeps making cameo appearances in her dreams, too. With his permission, she publishes an online piece about the phenomenon, which provokes a flood of reported dream sightings of Paul. All over the world, strangers have been seeing him in their sleep but always as a walk-on player, an unimpressed observer of their dream dramas. In short, Paul is the dreamland version of the Bernie Sanders mittens meme. He's just kind of everywhere for no apparent reason, and everyone, including him, is eager to capitalize on his virility. But as Paul's role in the collective unconscious shifts into a more sinister mode, his sudden fame starts to threaten everything he holds dear. Dream Scenario is worth watching for its clever premise alone, and the casting of Cage is inspired. Few actors are equally believable as a socially awkward everyman and a menacing figure who has the potential to go full-on homicidal. One of the cool, and terrifying, things about dreams is that nothing in them is stable, so it makes perfect sense for Paul to transform from a benign, amusingly random presence into a Freddy Krueger-ish bogeyman. And Cage, with his plentiful experience playing villains, makes that shift chillingly plausible. But the blessing and the curse of a brilliant high concept for a movie is that it has limitless potential, much like a dream. The story's creator has to make tough decisions about where to take it, and in this case, Borgley seems to struggle with what he's trying to say. As Paul's virility reveals a dark side, dream scenario becomes a satire of online culture generally and cancel culture in particular, with the collective unconscious standing in for social media. So far, so good. The film shows how the crowd's attitude toward a public figure can morph rapidly from indifference to love to vilification. While Paul bears no responsibility for that transformation, he's no innocent victim, either. He's comically eager to reap the rewards of his celebrity until things go wrong at which point he delivers a world-class example of the insincere online apology. Around this point, however, the focus of dream scenario starts to wobble, and viewers' attention may wander. While the film's first half maintains an intriguing balance between mild observational comedy and horror, hereditary director Ari Aster co-produced, the second half makes a half-hearted dive into science fiction.